Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand about the data workflows in Azure Machine Learning. So let us go to the presentation and understand the same. In Azure Machine Learning, first we have to create the data store. The data store stores the connection information of the Azure storage. After creating the Azure Machine Learning data store, we have to create the Azure Machine Learning data set. And we have to create the Azure Machine Learning dataset to point to a specific file in our underlying storage. Now we can use this dataset in our machine learning experiment. We can mount this dataset in our machine learning experiment's compute target for the model training. Or we can directly consume this dataset directly in Azure Machine Learning solutions like automated machine learning, experiment runs, machine learning pipelines, or Azure Machine Learning Designer. After the model training, we can create the dataset monitors for our output dataset and it will detect the data drift. And if data drift is detected, then we have to update our input dataset and retrain the machine learning model accordingly. So this is the Azure Machine Learning Data Workflow. Let us understand this workflow with the help of a diagram. So this is the Azure Machine Learning Data Workflow. Here we have Azure Storage Service, Data Store, Data Set, Model Training Parameters and Data Drift. In Azure Storage Service, our data is stored. To do that, we have multiple options. We can store our data as local data file or we can store our data as Azure Open Data Set or we can access the data set from the public URL. So with the help of Azure Storage Services, we have data in place. After that, we have to create the data store. The data store will have the connection information of our Azure storage service. After creating the storage service and data store, we have to create the data set. Now note down an important point here. After creating a data set with the help of a data store, data will remain at its existing location. So here we are not moving or copying any data to create a data set. And using this created data set, we can train our machine learning model. Now we can use this data set in training scripts, in automated machine learning, in Azure machine learning pipeline, or in Azure machine learning designer. After training the machine learning model, we have to create data set monitors for our model output data set and it will detect the data drift. And if a data drift is detected, then we have to update our input data set and retrain our machine learning model accordingly. So first we have to store our data in Azure storage service. After that we have to create data store and using that data store we have to create the data set. And once the data set is created, using that data set we can train our machine learning model. And at the end we can detect the data drift with the help of data set monitors. So this tutorial about Azure machine learning data workflow ends here. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.